It is a gathering of some of the most notable Republicans in Colorado and the country. The Western Conservative Summit is happening in Denver. Political specialist Sean Boyd at that convention center tonight. And Sean, one of the keynote speakers, Senator Cory Gardner, who is facing pretty tough re-election bid. Yeah, and Karen, he told me today he knows it will be tough. Tonight's speech may be a preview of his campaign strategy. He talked about his rural Colorado roots, his conservative record, and what he says is the threat of socialism by the fringe left. But it's what he didn't talk much about that also says a lot. President Trump. There is no place better to be than right here in Colorado for the largest conservative gathering in the West of the United States. A rising star in the Republican Party just a few years ago, Senator Cory Gardner is forced to defend his conservative credentials today. The United States Senate has been able to deliver a record number of judges who vow to uphold our Constitution. Two Supreme Court justices, 42 Circuit Court justices, and 83 District Court judges. Now I know that the next president will most likely choose two more Supreme Court justices. I know who President Trump would select, somebody like Colorado's own Allison Ide. And I know who Bernie Sanders would select. Castro, anyone? It was Gardner's only reference to President Trump in a state where Trump is as popular with Republicans as he is unpopular with non-Republicans. Gardner is trying to appeal to both by warning it's him, a fifth generation Coloradan or what he calls a radical socialist agenda. Just look at the policies their party now stands for. Socialized medicine, the Green New Deal, eliminating the Electoral College, dictating what job you can and can't have, packing the courts, massive tax increases, open borders, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. just started speaking here a few minutes ago. Gardner told me earlier today that he thinks President Trump will campaign for him here. Ten Democrats have now announced that they are running against him and more are expected to enter this race, which will be one of the most watched in the country. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean, thank you. Well,